All right, today we're inside the track, man, and I've changed my swing so much over the last couple months. I don't really know how far my clubs go. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna hit five shots with every single one of the clubs in my bag and just figure out how far I'm hitting them because it's important to know your distances, especially when you're out in the course. We'll start with the uh, 58 degree, or the 60 degree rather I have, and uh, we'll just go from there. What I'll do is I'll stop halfway in between. I'll do a little montage of me hitting some shots. I'll put the club I'm hitting on the screen and then we'll do like a whole analysis and breakdown of everything to see the gapping with all my clubs. I think it'll be interesting for you guys to see uh, and for myself just to kind of see how far I'm hitting the ball, which is super important, but uh, let's get to work. Five with each, starting with a 60. I will mention that I'm just gonna swing totally normal, not trying to hit it too hard or anything. I really just wanna get my stock yardages and, and not get anything too skewed. All right, so quick look here. I just finished hitting all my irons. There's a lot of colors on the screen, but these circles are my dispersion pattern with all of my irons and it kind of is all over the place. Keep in mind it is early this morning, but what I do like to see is slight overlap into each section. So the top of the bottom section goes into the bottom of the section on top of it. So there is decent gapping here. Um, I'm gonna hit my two iron five wood and driver, and then I'll, I can show you some table views as well. The dispersion's a little bit all over the place, um, but again, just trying to get my distances and all are within about the same distance. I can figure out how to straighten them out later, but uh, let's finish out these clubs. All right, here's a better close-up view of everything. So just hit my five wood here, which is the red circle. Two iron was this blue. I do like to see that the uh, five wood is going a bit further than the two iron, and then the drivers are way out here past 300. So the only real major gap that I'm seeing here is from about 260 to 300. But honestly, there isn't really that many times where I have over 260 into a par five. And if I do, I'm probably laying up anyway. I'm not too concerned there. So this is the dispersion, a lot of colors. Let's go into the table view here. And this way we can kind of get and see all the different numbers that I'm hitting each club. So take a look here on the left side, let me zoom in. So down here, starting at the 60 degree wedge, Looking at average carry distance, which is this number right here. So that's what we're focused on right now. We got 101 yards with the 60 degree wedge. Up here to the 56, 111 average, which I had some that went about 120. I could probably squeeze it out to about 115 if I hit it well, um, but good gapping there. Down to my 52 right here. We're looking at 133 total carry. And that's about right. All these numbers were pretty similar there. Pitching wedge, 144 carry. Um, it's probably closer to 150 in real conditions. Um, but again, good to know these numbers. Nine iron, 157 average. Um, but the ones that were hit well were about 165-ish. Um, so that's kind of what I thought there. Eight iron, 172. This one I pulled, 180. But probably going about 175 uh, on a well-struck shot. And that's what's important is knowing how far you're hitting your best strikes. And when you're mishitting it, you know how far it's going to go too. So that way you can determine what club you're using going into each green. Seven iron here, pretty much what I thought about 
185 to 190 um, carry and total about 190. Six iron, 196 to 200. That's pretty much what I thought there. Uh, like I said, a well struck shot here, about 200 yards. Five iron, about 215 here for an average carry distance, which is great gapping there, about 15 yards. Four iron, this is where it gets a little dicey depending on how I strike it. So 220 average, three of the five were not hit well. The ones that were hit well were about 230. So got to keep that in mind. I'm assuming that's going to be probably about 230 uh, carry. Two iron here. 240-ish carry, rolling out to 255. Off the tee, it goes a little bit further, especially when you factor in wind. So 250-ish with this. Then the five wood, something interesting here is you look at the spin rate, which is this column here. The five wood's gonna spin a lot more than the two iron. Um, just, again, with my, especially with the bad hit shots, 5,000 spin compared to 4,000, but overall average is pretty similar. Getting a little bit more carry though. 252 total about 265 and then up top here with the driver looking at 310 carry 327 total good ball speed 178 swinging it at about 121 there um, but and honestly club path and face to path was the best with my driver which if you asked me two weeks ago it would not have been like that so those are the distances we got. So it's definitely a lot to take in all these numbers and everything, but for me, someone who changed their swing so much over this winter and went through a major swing change, it's good to see that it's paying off. I'm not saying the dispersion's great, right? I'm just kind of swinging away at some balls, but overall distances are pretty consistent to what I saw, and I can just take that data, and that way when I'm on the course, I, I know exactly what clubs I'm hitting. So I, I would highly recommend if you can get inside to a simulator just to get some raw yardages, right? It's not gonna simulate real world conditions too much, but knowing how far your clubs go is extremely important. So make sure to subscribe if you're new, check out the practice plan in my free course down below, and I'll see you guys out here real soon.